We're in Port Isabel. We're heading off to Walmart. Just want to give you guys a little show of the town here. Everything you need, everything you want. And look who showed up. We got Rondi. <laughs> Rondi was good enough. Old buddy of mine from high school. Flew all the way down from Canada. <laughs> and we're going to be having a good tour the whole way back. So uh, we're sure. going to provision up. And uh, Rod, you want to say hi to the kids? Huh. Hey, Morgan, Marissa. Hey, Lawson. How's it going, buddy? There we go. And uh, provision up and uh, clean up. And we'll be on our way tomorrow. So, we, yeah, we'll be really looking forward to this. And uh, well, let's keep on going. All right, so we're uh, back at the boat after being away for uh, after being away for that long. You realize that uh, and the amount of rain that we got was just crazy. So about uh, four hours of scrubbing. Thankfully, Rodney was here. Rodney, give me a thumbs up on the excellent job we did. Hey, okay? thanks to Rodney's help. Freaking awesome. So we're starting to. Pretty much done there now. Scrub down, looking good. Just got to clean up the flybridge, guys. Get the cushions back on. We're gonna head over first thing tomorrow morning. Just past, um, just past those shrimp boats, and that's the fuel dock. From there, we're gonna be hanging right around the corner. We're in the Gulf. We're going to be going from uh, Port Isabel, South Padre Island, and we're going straight through right to Tampico. So it says roughly 280 nautical miles, give or take 30 hours, we'll see how the wind's going. The, our weather window is amazing, we're looking at uh, probably three to three and a half footers, it uh, doesn't really get much better. By about noon, the waves will be down to two footers, and it should be like that. The whole west of the, the whole rest of the trip, uh, with the waves and the wind actually reducing every day. Uh, so yeah, wish us luck. We'll be keeping. Uh, we'll send you more videos as we go. Thumbs up from Rod and thanks again. Awesome job. Talk soon. All right, guys. Good morning. We just left the dock. We only traveled from right in front of us <laughs> to here. We are now leaving uh, Port Isabel, and uh, we're just getting some fuel. We got about a anywhere from 26 to 30 hour straight talk to uh, Tampico. Morning, Rod. We're all doing good. We had a little bagel, and uh, yeah, we're all set. Let's fuel today. 389 sucks, but anyway, uh, beautiful spot. Highly recommended. So. Anyway, well, good morning guys. Once we get in the golf, we'll send you some more videos as we go. Ciao for now. heading out to the Gulf guys you can see where I am about the Gulf right there across. so yeah very exciting beautiful beautiful day should be a great uh, 28 hours you know you can see the dolphin there <laughs> um, and there he goes again there they go I always like to think they're good luck first thing in the morning so 
we'll see how it uh, gets, but you can see coming in, coming out of the outlet now. I'm trying to steady myself. Yeah, we're getting uh, we're getting three to fours. There'll probably be some five sixes until we get out in the Gulf, but yeah, it's just the way it is coming in and out of the inlets. <laughs> anyway, beautiful day. Beautiful day. We're going to start making our right hand turn and uh, yeah, it looks like it's going to be great. The dog's burning off. There we go, guys. Fantastic. much to see but you get the gist of it anyway. See you later at South Padre Island. How are we doing Rob? Good. How was that? Good. Toolbox. <laughs> got the door fixed up. Okay. Yeah I got a little nervous there for a second. Well oh, it's official guys we're in Mexican waters now. be a little smoother but it is what it is. <laughs> it's gonna be a nice trip. So, I can get the gist of it. I'll throw one anyway. Anyway, gonna be a great day guys. is relocated the fourth time a little rough today hey guys it's uh it's eight o'clock and uh still got another hey Rodney got some chips there we go uh beautiful night lots of stars uh, unfortunately we still got six to eight foot swells um I'm not quite on the beam. Good morning, it is now 6 a.m. Robert's still hanging in there. It was a long, uh, rough evening. It's not pleasant. Um, 
wasn't crazy like in terms of flipping or anything like that but it was extremely rough furniture was all flying everything went flying um, that's all there was to it there was hundreds and hundreds of uh fishing boats along the way none of them with ais hooked up so basically our radar was our best friend and we are currently about seven hours from Tampico. so getting very close we're getting there we'll do our border check-in fuel up again and try to get some sleep and we'll be back at it to very cruise tomorrow hey guys just pulling into uh tampico just got to pull in here and check in with uh customs as well as the port authority uh, and all that we got around here is basically um oil tankers left and right everywhere to come through the jetty luckily uh coming in a kind of slack tide so it shouldn't be that crazy today and uh yeah i'll give you a little tour of tampico as we come in lots of deep. dolphins yeah my dolphins dolphins everywhere they're like the squirrel of the, the ocean the squirrel of the sea yeah. There's the voice. Anyway, wait till I pull in the 10 people and I'll send you a little more. So, just came through the jetty. We buried the restaurant, pulling in the 10 people. We can get all our custom work done and uh, boat wipe down a little bit and get fueled up, and then we're going to try to get our asses over there, depending on how far we got to go down here. And if they can get a parking spot. Look at our fishing boats lined up. Pretty ready to go. Pretty quaint. Tankers, tankers. Same show. Got to drive in probably about, uh, looked like about five to eight miles anyway. Head down to the customs building. That roughly about an hour and a half to make it there. And uh, hopefully this all works out well. And all right. So we're down here. All right. And that is the port port uh, port authority captain. Apparently here's right till three. Long story short, as I show up here at uh, two o'clock and then get escorted in a car. That, that car ride took about 20 minutes to go from there to there. By this time, the captain uh, port authority has not left for the day, and he's not coming back. Uh, but he agreed to come in tomorrow at 9 a.m. So anyway, long story short is uh, <laughs> I might be get cleared tomorrow morning at 9. Uh, I found a place for fuel right across the river. So that's pretty fantastic. Uh, only one only problem is this is a security zone and whatever I do I cannot get off the boat. Anyway, aside from that we're good and uh, it's actually not a bad spot. It's really hot and uh, we'll let you guys know how everything works out for tomorrow. See ya. Oh this little girl's keeping me company. She's obviously pregnant or just had babies I mean wandering and looking for food. Donnie and I seen a couple of horses just walking on the side of the walkway, just like it was their normal day. This guy won't leave me alone. I don't even want to start to feed him. If I do, I don't think he'll leave. So I got a couple of tugs just escorting a, uh, looks like a Mexican naval boat of some sort out. And just sitting here at customs, immigration, captain port authority. I'll slash it off. And good morning. Just trying to get this done and uh, on our way. Um, I already talked with somebody. He's gone now to immigration for me and uh, we'll keep you posted. So far, everything's going great though. And uh, from here, I'll get some fuel back out on the Gulf, right to Bear Cruise. Uh, 20, anywhere from 20 to 22 hour job. So, should be pretty good. Don't know how Don's going to feel about this, but he's still in immigration. Some guy just came and dropped me off. 
Here's four crab. So I'm gonna put them in a bag, put them in the fridge, let Don know later and see what happens. So Don's not back shortly. Security guy that came by early year, there was another guy came by. They did a little bit more interrogation, asked about the boat, who I was, where I was going, who's the captain, is the boat ship shape? They asked about the toilets. And again, it was all hand signals, but uh, it's probably an hour or two since the last video. Donnie's still gone, so I don't know what's going on. I'm sitting here drinking iced tea and waiting for him to come back with good news. Hopefully everything's okay. Cheers, we'll talk to you soon and let you know, keep you updated. All right, so after um, three hours, was it, Rod? Yeah, you were gone for three. Three hours. I was getting worried. <laughs> um, Tampico Immigration Customs Port Authority and Health Units. They're all fantastic people. Um, obviously the language barrier is a problem. Uh, at the same note, they um, we got it done. The only problem is because it's Sunday, uh, the health unit that comes down towards the boat doesn't work on Sundays. There's nothing they can do about it. They will be on the boat tomorrow at 8 a.m. Um, so it gives us another day to recharge our batteries, uh, swipe down the boat a little bit, have a nice barbecue, and uh, check out the scenery over here. Uh, oh yeah, that was the other, yes, you're right actually. Um, so <laughs> this is all mind-blowing to them. There is not a um, pleasure craft that has ever entered Tampico. Um, <laughs> from what they're stating. So this is all mind blowing to them. Um, I had to sort of teach, they were teaching me, I was teaching them, showing them all the documentation. Uh, but yeah, we're pretty much the first pleasure craft to come into Tampico, Mexico. And register. And register, <laughs> yes. Maybe not the first ones to come in, but definitely the first ones to register. Anyway, uh, we're here, we're back. We'll talk later. There's fucking Donnie in his natural habitat. <laughs> Man never stops moving. I get to have a beer, he gets to clean two railings. So it's a fair trade off. It's a great trade off, yeah. He hasn't stopped cleaning since I got on the boat. It's about, time he, do, right? about time he drives it and gets us to our destination. <laughs> and then do it all over again. There we go. Uh, now he's fixing shit for no reason. Thinks we're gonna be swimming sometime. Uh, get ready. But we're stuck. Swim. We're stuck in immigration so we will never be swimming there's no need to fix the swim deck but it was broken so we had to fix it so. hey, punched myself in the face too. while he was down there then he had to ask for some cleaning supplies because he saw black mark so we'll figure it out yeah. Yeah, we got some friends we're getting more than the other one Rodney's feeding the Rodney's feeding the great line when he comes down right around this time he gets more because she already had a bowl. Yeah. <laughs> or she gets more because she already had a bowl. Yeah. All right, so Rod and I are sitting here in front of uh, immigration now. So after four hours? Oh, you're pushing five, five and a half now. Five, four, four, four or six, eight, it uh, doesn't matter. It's Mexican time. So basically, I uh, got to uh, know the port authority at 8.30. There was somebody supposed to be boarding the vessel at 8. I knew that wasn't going to happen, so I left. I went down to the port uh, authority captain and the customs gentleman down here. He was absolutely fantastic. Speaks a little bit English. He's a new guy compared to the other days. And uh, we went to the port authority captain. Um, that was a challenge. And uh, we got it done. I got a paper stamped. And so you have a process. So basically you go to customs. Customs bring you to the port authority. The port authority will sign off the paper. Once the paper is signed off and you have it in your hands, and then you can go to immigration. Um, unfortunately, it was 12.30 when we got to immigration, so now we have to wait for them to get back from lunch. Uh, we're hoping to be out of here and on our way by no later than 4. We're hoping, fingers crossed, to get some fuel and uh, start heading down to Veracruz for a 25-hour jump. So anyway, guys, we are definitely getting there. And uh, what do you think, Rod? Take some time, but it'll happen. It'll take some time, but we're getting there. We're getting there. Anyway, we'll let you know how the, uh, the immigration goes. All right, just pulling out of the 
Tampico fuel station at the Pemex. And uh, we are officially done immigration, checking in, uh, got all of it done. Um, it was a full, full, full two days. Uh, mind you, we did show up on a Saturday afternoon and it was a holiday kind of weekend. So anyway, um, we're on our way to Veracruz right now. Give a little tour of Tampico. Uh, very quaint. Everybody is amazingly super friendly. Thank you. Just fantastic people, really. All right, guys, it's 11 p.m. We uh, ran into one hell of a storm. Um, it was bad enough that uh, I'll show you here for a sec. It actually ripped off the bumpers, the lines. Uh, those are just breakers coming over the top. Uh, the bow didn't, we never snuffed the bow, but it uh, they just broke over the top. Um, rods there, we got a video rod uh, on uh, trying to keep the uh, the props or the ropes out of the props. And now we are hanging out at oh, what's the name of this place again? Oh, I just have it for you. I can't remember it. There it is there. Is that? Uh -huh. Baja de Campeche. Baja de Campeche. We're hiding. There's three islands here, major dive centers. Uh, coral is, is crazy. And, uh, but basically, yeah, if we venture out uh, behind these islands, we're looking at. They were. What would you say they were? Well, put it this way they're breaking over the bow and they're going over top of the flybridge. <laughs> and uh, the winds were upwards of 60 miles an hour and that just all happened. So we got stuck in that for about two hours and then I couldn't get behind the first island because the boat would have, might have overturned. And then, uh, so I, I put it on a diagonal and uh, ended up behind the first largest of the three islands, which is a great idea. And now I'm just tracking back and forth, trying to waste some time. And it's funny, we're not even poking our head out from behind the island and the boat just starts hopping right away. So whatever is on the other side of the island is still extremely bad. We're going to be waiting it out, but I want to give you an update for now. Anyway, I uh, hope everybody else has a pleasant evening. And uh, what do you think, Rodney? Yeah, I, uh, yeah I, I was puckered again. I, <laughs> uh, Rodney was a little puckered, but uh, he did fantastic off the bow. Um, there'll be a little insert of that as well. With, Rodney getting waterlogged, so anyway.